I'm hoping the lo local police will let me do the job I've been sent to do, though. I don't mean you. Detective, I know what you mean. Officer Watts, though, he's really sweet. I know he comes off cross as a little bit obnoxious, but... Oh my god. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Rain Swept. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. You might recall we checked out a demo of this roughly about a year or two ago now. And I really enjoyed my time with it. You play the role of a detective who's in out of town, essentially to investigate a murder, suicide possibly, and you find out that the there's more than meets the eye. The town that you're in kind of has more going on in the background than really these on to believe. Essentially, there's a definitely a Twin Peaks inspiration to this, which is what kind of drew me to it to begin with. So here today we have the full version, which is finally coming out. All the information will be down below if you want to pick it up for yourselves. I figure we take it out for a spin for a video, see what you guys think, and maybe if you'd like to see a bit more, we could definitely do so. Let me know in the comments, I'm leaving a thumbs up. For now though, let's get into the world of Rain Swept. Well, that's a bit of a start there. God damn, it's really coming down. Hope I don't catch a cold again. So we got look, and we could also use the car. We could turn back right now if we wanted to, apparently, as well. That's my car. Darn right it is. Anything else we can check out over here? Mailbox? Local police enforcement? They've been here a while, it looks like. Yep. Ma'am, please, you need to back away a little. What's happened here? A murder? Johnny, get under the umbrella. Granny, I want to leave. It's really c cold. Can we go back to the shop now? We could all see this coming a mile away. Ma'am, please. Granny, please. All right, Johnny, let's go. There's no point standing here now. All right, so they could see it a mile away coming, huh? I knew this would happen. We, we should have done something. There's nothing we could have done. Chris did this. I'm sure of it. Uh, it does look like that, doesn't it? Detective Stone, right? The chief's inside. They've been waiting for you. Use the number or key to select dialogue options. Okay. Why well, I just click on it? You need to push the crowd away from the seat, officer. What? You have to speak up. I can't hear you over the rain. The crowd. Handle them. There could be evidence out here. We can't have the crowd trampling over the evidence. Oh, yes, I'm trying. Hey, hey, Williams. Well, what the hell are you doing? Trying to prop up the tape, sir. It won't stay. Well, get some sticks and drive them in. Yes, sir. Richard? Don't call for Richard. Richard's on leave. Do it yourself. Goodness. Sorry, detective. Thing is, we're short on manpower here. We weren't prepared for this. We weren't prepared for this kind of thing. First time in decades. And to top it off, it's goddamn rain. Just get the crowd under control. I'm heading inside. Yes, detective. Don't worry. Richard. I, I mean Williams. Yeah, they're running a fine establishment over here. They know what they're up to. All right. So that's where the boy shot himself. Oh God. That's the sheriff. I should talk to him first. All right. Yeah, so that's where the boy shot himself that we saw. Anything else to explore around here? Not very professional. I hope they know what they're doing. Michael? Huh? Ah. Uh. Uh, detective, are, are you okay? Uh, I I think so. Yeah. Guess I'm just a little tired after the long drive here. Uh, okay, if you say so. Detective Stone, right? The head office called in to say you'd be joining us here for this investigation. I'm Sheriff Harris, and this is Officer Watts. We appreciate the department sending you help, but, uh, I don't think we'll need it. This case is ready to be wrapped up. What do we have here? The victims here are Christopher Green, age 26, died from a bullet wound to the head. Looks self-inflicted. And Diane Miller, age 24, single bullet through the abdomen. The victim lived together. 
We're unmarried. Any signs of an intruder? No signs of forced entry. The door was locked from the inside when we arrived. But the window was open. An officer climbed through the open window here to open the door. There are no footprints outside that window. Except for the officers. He was careful. No signs of struggle or marks on the bodies either. What's the time of death? According to the next door neighbor, a single gunshot was heard around 15 hours. 0, 0, 15 hours. We received a call at about 0, 0, 20 hours, and we're here in another five minutes. We found them dead upon arrival and confirmed the timing. Okay, but um, you said a single gunshot, there's two gunshots. Life do. What do we know about the weapon? Both shots were fired from a 38 caliber special revolver. The ballistics report will let us know more. Any witnesses? Ah, just the next door neighbor who claims to have heard a single gunshot. We can interview him shortly. Honestly speaking, detective, we think it's pretty obvious what's taking place. What do you mean? They, they had a reputation. They weren't exactly a happy couple. The whole town knows this. Diane was shot at point blank range with Chris's gun, probably by Chris. He then went and shot himself, and the wound is clearly self inflicted. So, you see, sending you here unnecessarily complicates things. I'm beginning to think this is a very good idea, in fact. I, uh, uh, it's obviously a case of murder suicide, detective. So, we've got it all figured out here already, huh? If that was sarcasm, I'll ignore it, but yes, more or less. Uh, uh, are you suggesting there was domestic violence involved? It would seem so. It was never reported, but that doesn't mean it didn't happen. So, rumors. Uh, you may call it that, but, uh, where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm not sure of that. And they were never really able to fit in this town. They were new here. Moved in about six months ago. Never got out much, didn't make any friends. We don't need to analyze the obvious, detective. They would only be inefficient. This is Officer Blunt. She will assist you through the course of your work here. Hello, detective. And, uh, one thing. We're looking to wrap this case up quickly and cleanly. We don't want to drag it if it can be helped. We have an important festival coming up in a week's time. You might say this, uh, rather bad timing. So there's no need to go around compl complicating things, alright? Just get me a story that works and we can close this case quickly. Wow. Fine detective work. Yeah, sure. Can't wait to wrap this case up. Uh, yeah. Alright then, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Okay then. Um, anyway. Have a look around the room if you like. Come talk to me when you're done. Mm-hmm. Well. Let's see here. We can't talk to, um, Emily just yet. But let's take a look around the area here. 38 special rounds. It's a box of 50 rounds. There are 44 here, which means 6 are missing, 2 were used last night. Which means 4 are unaccounted for. I'm guessing we'll find them loaded in the gun. Hmm, good point. Maybe. A 38 caliber special, as Officer Watts said. Looks pretty old. It can hold 6 rounds. It's a revolver, so it wouldn't have ejected the shell casings. They would still be in the barrel. There are only three unused rounds in here. I was expecting four. This means three rounds were fired from this gun at some point in time. If two were fired last night, where's the third? Or was it shot last night, or on some other day? The gun belonged to Chris, according to Officer Watts. Let's assume Chris or Diane weren't the ones to use it. Is there anyone else that could have known where they kept the gun? From Pineview? I really doubt it. Remember, no signs of forced entry. Could it be someone they were comfortable with, or trusted? No one I can think of. Uh, good, good help there, Emily. Appreciate it. Alright, what else we got here? Hmm, what's this? It's signed Chris96. I'm guessing Chris built some of the furniture around his house. Alright. 
and here is Diane was it? gunshot to the stomach the damage in the residue would suggest the shot was taken at point blank range that rules out the possibility of her being shot from the open window she would have been in line of sight from the outside though there's no mistaking it. the perpetrator would have to be inside the house to cause this kind of a wound whether that was Chris or someone else it's hard to say at this moment bullet wound to the head the skull is badly damaged and most of the side has been blown off his body position and the way he fell would indicate that he was sitting sideways on the chair facing where Diane's body is now the angle of the shot indicates that he was shot from this side if someone shot him they were standing in front of the refrigerator no clues there though he could have been shot from that window at the moment it's shut must get a check for fingerprints and footprints outside could someone have entered and left through here? We should have the fingerprint results in a couple of days, detective. Don't forget there aren't any footprints outside. If someone shot him from outside, then Chris would have sat facing the refrigerator. That would make sense. That way, the killer wouldn't need to enter the house. But in that case, who shot Diane? Hmm. Gunpowder residue in his right hand. Hard to disagree with Officer Watts here. This is a strong evidence from the victim shooting himself unless it was made to look that way this chair is falling on its back looks like Chris fell off the chair before or after being shot I think that's everything the rain is finally lit up neighbor or what hey it's gonna be some of that coffee right this here is Mr. Willis Hill is right next door coffee detective what thank you appreciate it you can ask him any questions you may have about last night. Right, Mr. Willis. Can you tell me everything you saw or heard during the last night's event? Well, we'll see. I've, I've headed off to bed at around 11 p.m. as I usually do after a glass of whiskey. Helps me sleep, you know. Anyway, somewhere around 12.15 a.m. I'd say I was woken up by a loud bang. I ran to the bedroom window. I looked straight down at their place. And what did you see? Oh, nothing. The, the kitchen lights were on, but that's about it. I went to my phone and I called Officer Watts here straight away. How long did it take you to get to the window? Oh, about a couple of seconds, Detective. No more than five, I'd say. I nearly fell out of my bed when I heard the shot, so you might say I was halfway there already. Did you see any sort of activity in the street? Anything unusual? Oh, no, Detective. Everything was exactly the same as always. You said you heard one gunshot. Yeah, yeah, the whiskey is usually locks me out pretty good. <laughs> so if there's been anything more, I didn't hear him. Do you live alone, Mr. Willis? Ah, uh, yes, I do. I never got married. It's a uh, long story. Oh, one meant to be talked over a couple of whiskeys, know what I mean? <laughs> Can anyone confirm your whereabouts? Uh, no, I was just at home, you see. Am I a suspect? It's procedure, Mr. Will. I know Mr. Willis, he's cool. We need to talk about that later, officer. Talk about what? Just later, okay? Okay, Sherlock, whatever you say, Holmes. Yo, dude, I'm gonna fight you. Did Chris and Diane have any visitors, friends, etc.? Oh, uh, no, no, not at all, in fact. In a time. And all this time, I only maybe saw Jack coming over to fix their car. Nah, people rarely ever visit him because they mostly kept to themselves, see? Never made any friends here. But sometimes folk don't like those kinds either, so I can't really say, you know what I mean? Uh, no, please elaborate. Hey, you won't find anyone crying over their deaths here. Nobody really knew them. They never really got out much. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us, Mr. Willis? I don't know if this is useful, but you might have heard about Chris and Diane. They, they look pretty happy when they first moved in. More recently though, I heard Diane crying a couple of times, usually at night. You see, the whiskey knocks me out early, so maybe that's why I never heard all this before. But a couple of times, I was up a little late. One night, about a month ago, I heard pretty bad things. There was some um, loud sounds, like stuff being flung and such, you see? I heard someone crying. I was thinking to myself that maybe I should call the police, but then it quieted down all of a sudden. Yeah, I've never received any cause for domestic violence, but people have often talked to stories of this kind. Can you remember when you heard this, Mr. Willis? 
Uh, well, I was up late writing an important letter. I think it must have been somewhere between the 1st to 3rd last month. 1st to 3rd September, right? Anything else? No, that's all I know about this. Right, thanks for your help, Mr. Willis. We'll be in touch if we need anything else. Ah, uh, no problem, and uh, thanks for the coffee. Please don't tell witnesses they're not under suspicion. Especially not in front of them. So basically tell me that I don't know how to do my job, is that it? All I'm saying is this case isn't all wrapped up as you like to believe. How can you see what's not right in front of you? It's so obvious. Mr. Willis didn't see anything outside the house after the gunshots and there's no signs of anyone forcing entry either. On top of that, considering how rough things were between the two of them, you were Mr. Willis said, right? That doesn't prove anything. The state of the relationship could be relevant, or it might have nothing to do with the case. We still need evidence to prove it either way. As for not spawning anyone inside the house, we can't just rely on one witness for the complete picture. A witness that was half asleep, I should add. Well, what? Well, what about the door, huh? How was it locked from the inside? Explain that. I checked the door. It locks itself from the inside when you pull it close. Where, whether you pull it from the outside or push it in from the inside. I have to head to the station now, officer. Escort Detective Stone to his hotel. Will do, sir. You know, just an open and shut case. We don't want to keep it around here. We'll come back in the evening to search the house. Letters, diaries, things of that sort. Alright. When can we expect the autopsy results? The day after tomorrow, according to the coroner. But I'll confirm and let you know. I'm guessing there were more than two bullet shots last night. We should take a little look around the kitchen to make sure. Three bullets, bud. Hmm. We're actually glad that you're here, you know. Although the sheriff and Officer Watts were there not admitted. Even to themselves. This is like the first murder here in the last hundred years or so. We have no idea how to deal with it. Um, I mean... It's alright. I know what you mean. I just joined the force a month back, for instance. And a murder already? I'm not sure if I'm ready. I kind of knew them, you could say. I've never known anyone that's been murdered before, you know? It's kind of weird. A bit... sad. I know as an officer I'm not supposed to feel that way and all. You'll be fine. Give it time. Thanks, detective. What do you know about Chris and Diane? Well, not much. It's mostly what Mr. Willis said earlier. Nobody knew them, really. They came in here, kept to themselves. You'd hear stories about them. Everyone thought they were some kind of weirdos. I admit, I kind of agreed with that sentiment, too. I feel bad about that now. It's no reason to make assumptions about people's character, and character can't be used as evidence. So I'd really like to help figure out what the real story is, whatever it may be. The sheriff said that there's a festival in town next week. What's that about? Oh, it's an annual thing. We have it every October. There's a fair on the Market Street. There's food, right? Uh, do you mean, um, a Halloween? We got a lot of... We get a lot of tourists from nearby states around that time. It's a good source of revenue for our smaller businesses here. That, of course, is less important in light of recent events. Good to hear you say that. Of course, we can't go around trying to wrap up cases based on our assumptions, whatever the situation may be. I mean, these were lives that ended. It's our job to figure out what really happened. So I guess what I'm saying is, you can count on me during this investigation. Thanks. Alrighty, well she seems like a really nice girl, a good go-getter. I'm hoping the lo local police will let me do the job I've been sent to do, though. I don't mean you. Detective, I know what you mean. Honestly speaking, Sheriff Harris is an a-hole. I'm serious, he doesn't really care about anything except running off home and taking it easy. This case probably ruined his plans to relax and enjoy the festival week. I hate people like that. Officer Watts, though, he's really sweet. I know he comes off cross as a little bit obnoxious, but... Oh my god. Well, I guess it'll be two, three bodies now. I saw her. She was right there. Why am I seeing her? Why am I thinking of her? Which ties up to what happened in the house when he collapsed. And he heard apparently his name. My poor car. That would be dangerous. It sure would, yeah. You don't want to run over this guy too and add like a four. I guess there's not a third body. We just saw something. I guess we don't really want to add a third body to stuff, huh? His name's... He said his name is Jack. It's a good thing he was passing by when the crash happened. 
Hey, Jack. Sup, dude? What's the issue with the car? Well, the headlights and the bumper's gone. You need to have them replaced. I'm gonna have to check it out. I gotta have a replacement part so I can fix it. How long would it take you to fix it? Uh, a couple of days, three maybe, depending on how quickly I can get these parts. Shouldn't take more than four days at most. Oh boy. Hey dude, can you fetch me my big red wrench? It should be in the toolbox outside. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I can't do such a small little favor. You're amazing, but thanks. Um, well, I guess we're coming down here. Oh, look at this sweet whip, though. Mmm, that is maybe possibly a cherry Mustang. Maybe. I'm not really good when it comes to cars, but I think that might be one. It's locked. Oh, come on. Jacking to get me to get you a wrench and the freaking thing's locked. Well, hold up. Let me check this vehicle, though. Oof, what a beauty. Yeah, you telling me. I wonder if it's Jack's. Man, I'd love to, but I don't think Jack would appreciate me doing that. Ah, just driving off in your vehicle, it's fine. Alright, we need to get a key from this dude. Oh, that's right, we can run. I forgot about that. Jack got us here in that. Need a key, my dude. Two boxes locked, Jack. Huh, that's weird. Why did I lock? Anyway, the key should be somewhere among the stuff behind your car. Thanks, dude. Okay, see, now this favor is becoming a little bit more of uh, a hassle here, Jack. All right, got the key. Hmm, tar, shovel. Wonder what Jack uses them for. Tar and shovel? I don't know, maybe fixing the roads. Just saying, you got you have to use your detective instinct and everything. That opened it. Let's see what's in here. Take the. He said red wrench, right? That must be it. Yeah, that's it. I love this wrench. Thanks, bud. <laughs> That red convertible there, is that yours? Yeah, man, it's a 65. Yes, I was right! That's a 65 Mustang. I love that ride. I got it used for pretty cheap off a guy who couldn't take care of her anymore. Luckily, the car's got something that keeps it running like new now. The big red wrench? You know, the red wrench is pretty awesome. But it's nothing like it's. It, but it's not. It's nothing if it's not got someone who can make it work. Me. I spent all my free time on her, fixing her up and making sure she runs better than you. And I keep her happy by taking her on long, beautiful drives on the roads outside town. You've got a shovel and some tar there. What do you use those for? Er, uh, that dude. I do a bit of construction work on the side sometimes, you know. Fixing up driveways and stuff. For some extra cash. Detective, you're here investigating Diane's murder, right? And Chris, yeah. Do you have any information that could help us? I don't know about information, man. I just know what he, that he did it. What do you mean? Chris, he killed her. Why do you say this? I... Everyone could see it coming. Diane, they say she was troubled. Scared of him, even. Someone in this town should have done something. We all knew this could happen. But no one cared enough about them to bother interfering. How do you know this? Uh, I don't know. Rumors around town, mostly. That you know Chris and Diane well? Not really. People here barely did. They were not the kind of to come out and make friends with their new neighbors, it looks like. They still feel like outsiders to the rest of us. What were you doing last night? I... What was I doing last night? Yeah, that's what I asked. I... Alright, I, I drove a couple of miles from here and drank a few beers while I enjoyed the view. At night? Yeah, the stars, man, you see. Was there anyone with you? Did you meet anyone? Nah, man, there's nothing like the pleasure of your own company sometimes. Alright, thanks for your help, Jack. We shall be back if we have any more questions. Of course you will. What do you mean, Jack? For your car, man. Come back when it's fixed. You get way too serious, way too fast, man. Chill out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Everybody's really convinced with the A. He did it. Just leave it alone, dude. He did it. Get out of here. Alright, Emily. Hey. Hi. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine, surprisingly. I'm really sorry about the crash. I don't know what. It's alright, especially since we're okay. Something... something else worries me, though. What's that? What happened back there? How did we hit that tree? 
Well, I want to learn about I want to learn about this that he's seeing. So let's go with that one. I thought I saw something. What did you see? Thought I saw a person. That's kind of creepy. Yeah. But are you okay otherwise? I mean, I don't know you, so I don't know if this is a, reg a regular thing. No offense. No, that's okay. I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, you collapsed back there at the crime scene, too. And then this. Yeah, I don't know. I've been a little dizzy all day. Maybe I just need a nap. Seeing this kind of stuff kind of buns me out. Um, I'm just saying, if there's anything wrong, you can talk to me about it. Don't hesitate. Uh, okay. Detective! I'm gonna drive to the next town for a bit. Want me to drop you on the way? Actually, be very useful since we don't have a car anymore. Alright, and I think, um... We're gonna probably wrap it up here, boys. I hope you enjoyed this. This is, um... Rain Swept. I can't lie to you and say that I'm not intrigued by this this far. If you'd like to see a bit more, let me know in the comments and leave a thumbs up. Otherwise, all the information will be down below because you want to pick this up for yourselves. I will catch you next time.